Welcome back, everybody. We are talking indie episodic right now. We're talking about Bootstrapped. It's about two friends who decide to make a tech startup about fashion in Kansas City. Doesn't sound too far-fetched, if you ask me. <laughs> Here to talk about the pilot episode, we have actress Meredith Monroe. We have director Stephanie Lang. We have actor Sam Richardson and producer Dave Hill. Mm -hmm. Did I? Did yeah, you, you nailed, nailed it. it. Okay. Yeah. Nailed it. Nailed it. 100% yeah. right. <laughs> okay. So I, we were just talking about this. I really want to, you know, ask you guys. This is indie episodic. This is a show for all intents and purposes. Sundance is kind of known for features and documentaries. How do you guys go about with, with this indie episodic? I mean, um, you guys are trying to find funding for it. You're trying to find someone to buy it. How? But how do you stack up against like these big movies? Well, first of all, we get two incredible oh, castmates, yes. oh, we totally. find an incredible director, we have our in insanely talented writer-creator star, Danielle Ulerich. Mm -hmm. um, that's, that's how we put it's it. It's a great it. start. So the, yeah. so, the, so the main answer is we, we package an incredible mm -hmm. team of super powerhouse talented people to make it, yeah. And, and yeah. Did, did you guys ever think indie episodics would be in Sundance? Because, I mean, it's kind of huge. I mean, we have, we're seeing originals on YouTube and Netflix and Hulu. I mean, and watching just clips of this in the trailer, it's hilarious. And it reminds me almost something that I would see on IFC, like Portlandia. So you guys have a great vibe going for it. Okay. Stephanie, yeah. as a director, how did you go about making this? And well, I mean, as David said, like it really started with you know Danielle. I mean, she it's her baby, and mm -hmm. you know she has the Silicon uh, Valley background, mm -hmm. and uh, I think this this show is what she imagined it would be like if she start, had to start up with her friends, you know. Exactly. And she had been yeah. working on uh, as far as her experience in um, the tech industry until now. It's mm -hmm. been um, like seven years that she's kind of been. Um, working on this and and all of that and then when she got involved with gumption it all happened okay and it was I think a good budget but a low budget mm -hmm. and then we Stephanie came in and worked amazing mm -hmm. magic with the time and the budget and we had great ca I mean we had great cast they did a lot of improvising and I think at yeah. the end of the day it's like something we're so proud of yeah. um, and that people can relate to it's a strong with female leads and mm -hmm. Sam and, uh, and it's funny. It's really funny. Two it's great. females and Sam. Two females and yeah. Sam. So, <laughs> Sam, you play a, a coder that comes on to help with the app, correct? Yes. Well, I, oh, I, I'm their I'm their coder from the get go, but then we we hire another coder. Okay. As a, who's a you got to see the episode to know. <laughs> yeah. And, and can you just tell us about your character and, and you know, because it, it's heavy in comedy. Was As you said, there was some improv. Was it loose script, improv, we like that, we're going to keep going on that, or? Uh, the, the script was, pr was pretty well written. Uh, not pretty well, very well written. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was a great. Danielle, uh, who wrote the script mm -hmm. uh, and is creator of the show, had a pretty great uh, basis. So like there was there was improv, but it was just kind of like garnish and, and uh, mm -hmm. spice on the on the meat. Uh, <laughs> Who doesn't like spice perfect, on the right? meat? Yeah. Yeah. Spicy meat. meat. Spice oh, on that meat. You know, spice like up. in India, like this is a spice trade. Yes. 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 I yes. digress. <laughs> uh, it was. Uh, it, but it was. It was a fun thing to get to, to do and, and play with, yeah. and just get and to play with my friends. Exactly. I was going to say because Sam yeah. and Danielle and I have known each other for quite some okay. time too. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we were friends for a long time before the, for this. Sam and I are both from Detroit and we've okay. known each other a long time. So I think the chemistry was already there, mm -hmm. especially with Danielle and I. Danielle and I play basketball together, we're besties, we give each other massive pep talks, it's all very <laughs> uh, similar to how mm -hmm. Madeline and Amy are. So I think that also contributed to it being a really fun set, fun script. Can you talk about how, what it means to have a strong female presence in, in this indie episodic in Sundance? Well, I think, honestly, Danielle said it the best, is that she wanted these two <clears throat> best friends to just always have each other's mm -hmm. back. They're never going, we're not going to see huge conflicts on screen mm -hmm. between them. They are always going to be a united front. Mm -hmm. And frankly, it's not going to be uh, about men at all. There's, yeah. there's really no love interests. Mm -hmm. um, which is awesome. Which, which, I, is th great. which I find refreshing. Uh, and yes. she, she's already mapped out about three seasons for this show. And frankly, she said if they were ever going to have like a love interest mm -hmm. or if a man was going to get involved mm -hmm. that would like somehow like bring the two of them apart, it would be a very special lone episode. Okay. But the rest of the time, they are work wives. Mm -hmm. They are the relationship. They're mm -hmm. the ones who are in love. And that's the story you're going to follow as opposed Perfect. to having conflict and mm -hmm. I think 
typically what we see between um, two yeah. women on screen. So that's what I was really attracted to when I read it too. Perfect. Now we're running out of time real quick. I want to talk about, because you guys are having a costume database for the entire oh show. Oh my gosh. This is yeah. again Danielle's brainchild. Yep. I'm telling you, she's she is a force. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, she created a database so all of the fashion that you will see on the show from Sam's kicks to our outfits mm -hmm. um, will be compiled in a database that people can research mm -hmm. and then go online and buy. So that's something we really want to market along with the show mm -hmm. um, and use it as an asset to sell it. Well, you're using technology to enhance the show mm -hmm. in a very technology-driven time. And it's yeah. mimicking the technology yes. on the show, yeah. which, yes. is, which is bitch, a, that would look better on me.com. It's, it's I mean, synergy. It's, synergy. Yes. Yes. It's, synergy. It's, it's synergy. It's a singularity. <laughs> yes. All right, where can people go to watch the, the episode or where can they go online to find out more information? Oh, well, they can watch it. Uh, we premiere uh, tomorrow night here at the festival and Woot. then uh, we have uh, two more screenings after that Wednesday and Thursday Wednesday in Salt Lake City and Thursday back here in Park City yeah. check it out Woot, well, woot. thank yeah. you and thank good you. luck and congratulations you. on the episode thank it's you funny so much. it's players I, I hope I hope I it gets really picked up that. Yeah. Yeah, thank really you so much it. thank, thank you. you all right guys we have Thanks. plenty more in the can coming up after these breaks